Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just did a quick dumpster spree. Um, I had some free time to kill and I hit up Ulta and I found all this in the dumpster. We found some pallets and just some soup products. So once I get it inside, I'm gonna go over it with you guys, show you what I found. Ooh, those are cool. And then I also hit up a Bath and Body Works. So it looks like I have a lotion and two candles. So let me get inside. Let me get these things sorted and cleaned off. And I will show you what I got. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been on my channel lately, but I've been like in a dry spell of like ideas and makeup looks. So I have been focusing on other interests of mine and I have always, always been curious as to the dumpster diving videos, whether it be Ulta, Home Goods, um, whatever. I've really been intrigued by dumpster diving. So, um, I scored guys so this is my massive Ulta score yes what you are seeing is true I found this all in the Ulta dumpster so I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I found I'm gonna show you what's usable what's broken and what I'm going to be doing with these guys now you guys I randomly will hit up an Ulta dumpster if I'm in the area but nine times out of 10, I get nothing. Um, and today I was just bored. I had gas. So I was like, let's go check some dumpsters and bang. This was all in a box in the dumpster. I had to dig under some cardboard boxes and some trash bags, but I found this and it was in a super box, which is basically makeup that the employees have to destroy and they will put all kinds of liquids over it, foundation, shampoos, whatever. But I was able to clean off and salvage some of these items. So I'm gonna go over them with you and yeah. So first I found these cups, which you know are those, I don't really remember what they're called, but you know, they come with the straw and you whatever. I found two of them, one without a lid, one with a lid and no straws, but you can get these straws at any store. So this looks to be some kind of like gift package um, they weren't in there, but I did find three of the, um, what are they? They're body wash, bubble bath, and shampoos. So, yeah, all had the lids on, all sealed. They must have just been thrown out of the cups, so that was pretty cool. Next up, we have three foundations that I found. This one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and it is in the color Cashew. I think I can definitely get this shade to work on me as long as I have a light concealer. So that's pretty awesome. And this is pretty full, guys. It's about right here, so I can get some use out of that. Next up, we have the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. And this one is in the color Neutral Buff. I also think I will be able to get this one to work on me personally as well. And the next up we have the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. This one is a tad bit too dark for me. It is in the color, I don't know, it's covered right now because of the damaged out thing. But I could definitely give this to a friend or I could use this for cream contour. Next up we have an Estee Lauder Double Wear Maxim Cover Camouflage Body or Face Foundation. Pretty full you guys, it is in the color 2W2 Rattan. I don't I don't know how to pronounce that, but give that a try. Then I found the Lancome sunscreen in the color 3 Natural. Still full. I found this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in the color Dune 7.5. Without the lid though, but you could definitely still use it. Then I found this Kenra Sugar Beach Spray Touchable Wavy Texture Hairspray. It's a, a pricey little thing right here. It's pretty full, just missing um, the lid. Then I found this Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxing Charcoal Cleanser. This is completely brand new. 
Still has the tag on it. Pretty awesome, guys. Then I found this Pureology Clean Volume Conditioner. It was missing a lid. It's like a travel size, but there's still about this much in. I can get about two or three conditionings out of that. Then I found a Tester Too Faced Hangover Primer, and it's about to right here. So, yeah, pretty neat. Next up, we have the Estee Lauder Nightwear Plus 3-Minute Detox Mask, and this was a tester, and this thing is completely full, you guys. Um, looks to be like a green tent. Um, I found a lot of Estee Lauder in its own little bag, Ulta bag, so they must have been throwing out all the testers and getting brand new Estee Lauder things. Next up, we have a Travel Size Urban Decay. Which one is this? I don't know which one that is. Is this the nighttime one? I'm not sure. And this is full as well. Nothing wrong with it. I'm guessing it was a tester. Now we have these two Estee Lauder tester creams. This one is the Night Wear Plus Detox Cream. And this one, I think, has a good amount still in it. So that's so freaking awesome this one is the day wear multi protection antioxidant 24 hour moisture cream and this one has less but still enough to get a good use out of then i found three of these what are these ulta color correcting foundation primer sticks um, none of them look to be my colors but once again i can give them to a friend or use them for cream contour and they are all still sealed, you guys. Pretty cool. We have a NYX eyebrow thing that looks to be tested. Um, I don't know, maybe cut off the end and start from scratch and give that a try. Then we have this NYX Professional Makeup Pre Precision Brow Pencil. Um, this is closed. I've never even tried this product before, so I'm excited. Don't mind my nails. Um, that um, box really was filthy, and that was a damaged item. This NYX, what is this? Oh, but this NYX eyeliner was still in the box, so that's really cool. Like a reddish pink color. This is a sealed NYX HD finishing powder. Um, it still has a damage tag on it. It is still sealed. It's just the powder was broken. So I am going to repress that with some rubbing alcohol along with the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. Which one was this? I don't know. It was like a really gold one. It's still sealed as well. It was damaged out. And we can press that with some rubbing alcohol. Excited with this one, guys. This is the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector. I think this is um, in a lilac but it was completely rubbed out. But I thought it'd be really cool. I could, you know, always press a different highlighter that's broken into this and just reuse this case since it's so cute. Another broken, unopened item is this Morphe Single Highlighter in the color Spark. I'm gonna repress that and give that a try because I've never tried their single eyeshadows. So kind of really excited about that. It looks a little dark, but we'll see. Next up is a unopened NYX eyebrow powder and gel with a little brush. This is black, so I won't be able to use that. Um, but you could still use that for eyeshadow or making a eyeliner. Next up, we have these two lip glosses. This is Clarins Paris Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil in Raspberry. That's pretty cool. And then we also have this Ulta Beauty Matte Cream Eyeshadow in the color Bubblegum. And it is sealed still too, so it's pretty awesome. Some more unopened products that are still sealed is the High Shine Lip Gloss by Ulta in the color Zelda, like a purple shade. Then we have a unopened Models Own Liquid Metal Eyeshadow that they damaged out for some reason. Then next up we have an unopened Milani. It's a holographic lips gloss that's pretty cool next up I have these four Lancome shadow paints I have a really 
pretty purple, I mean, dark sparkly blue, a dark forest green sparkle, like a champagne-y color, and a sparkly lighter purple. And uh, these were all testers, and oops, <laughs> and they're still pretty full. Another Estee Lauder product, it was a tester, and it is the, what is it, Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Concealer in the color Light Medium, and I think this will match me. Then we also have these two pencils, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Rust. Uh, this looks to be used, but I will just roll it up and cut a big chunk off of it. And we'll give the and I'll sanitize it. I will sanitize all of these products with some rubbing alcohol, you guys. Um, so just to stay safe. And then this one is a NYX eyebrow eye and brow pencil in a beautiful blue color, electric blue, unopened as well. Then I have this little single Ulta Beauty eyeshadow in the color Jungle. It is a little bit cracked, but I definitely can press that back in. All these Ulta Cream eyeshadows, guys. All oh, brand new, all never been opened. Um, we have a gold color, a pinky color, a brown color, black, a darker gold. Yeah, so I'll definitely be giving some of those to my sister and my, my friends, but yeah, a ton of these, unopened. I found quite a few Estee Lauder lipsticks, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Um, a trick to keep these usable is I will throw them in, a fr in the fridge so they're nice and hard, kind of, and I will cut off quite a bit of these so I can use a, the part that wasn't really used during testing. So that's how I will sanitize these to use. And I did find also a few lids for all of them. Not all of them, but I did find lids for some of them. I just have to show you this black one that has glitter in it. And this is number 470. I just want to show you. It's so pretty. That I found, this is the Smashbox um, Ablaze palette. This was a tester and she is not that damaged, you guys. I am so excited. I won't even repress these. I will just rub some rubbing alcohol over these and start using it. Next up, we have a Mali Muted Muse eyeshadow palette. Never had anything from Molly or Mali. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But same as well. They try to dig out some, but there's still a lot of product. I will just rub some sanitizing solution over and good to go. We have another Smashbox product. Smash box product and that is a tester as well and this is the ablaze face palette this one was bronzers blushes and highlights it's pretty dug out but i think i can still press these and get a little use out of them last but not least from ulta i found the urban decay elements palette i was so excited you guys but they pretty much wrecked her i mean there's a little bit of eyeshadow in most of them but I don't know that like this appearance really doesn't like it discourages me to even use it but I could definitely get some use out of it that's a really pretty color so I might hold on to this for like holiday makeup like for um to use on Halloween so I don't have to dig into my other nice eyeshadows I could use this one since it has a lot of color and there's definitely still some products left so it's really pretty packaging. That was it for my Ulta haul, and I also hit up Bath and Body Works and found a few things, so I thought I would just throw them in this video as well. I found the Aromatherapy Love Rose Vanilla Lotion, pretty full still. And then I found two damaged candles. We found Sparkling Ice. Um, I have a video on how to repurpose these guys, so check my last video. And this smells so good, and this is a Christmas one. Last but not least, I found Leaves. This is a really good candle. Just broken. We'll refurbish this candle and enjoy it very much. Alright guys, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed my haul from Ulta and from Bath & Body Works. I hope you enjoy these type of videos. Give me a thumbs up if you do, and I will see you next time.